everybody in the tech community. It's Ratsu back here from Tech From East Media, and I've never actually reviewed a tablet on this channel, at least one that's current to date with everybody's expectations. So I contacted a company called Lenovo, and they were kind enough to send me out their Yoga Tab 3 Pro. So after using it for about two to three weeks, here's my full experience and review. Let's talk about performance. Now since you are investing $500 into this tablet if you decide to buy it, then you definitely want to be getting your investments worth. So I'll be splitting this into two categories which is everyday usage and gamers mode. With everyday usage you're not going to find anything wrong. The Yoga Tab 3 Pro is fluid with smooth transitions to provide the most adequate experience for the user. I haven't experienced any problems with the apps lagging or having to force quit which usually does occur on some lower priced tablets. When you're in gamers mode, the performance still does not disappoint. I played some games that are usually used to test performance, some personal favorites like GTA San Andreas and Asphalt 8 and the end result was superb. There was no drop frames and the graphics were smooth. I was able to play for hours without the tablet overheating. However, a safety feature on this tablet that kind of annoyed me is that the brightness of the tablet dims when the device gets warm. I can understand that prevents the tablet overheating or preventing a fire, but it bothered me because I get the notification every 10 minutes while playing the game. But otherwise, excellent performance. Next, let's move on to the design. This is one of my favorite aspects of the tablet. The Yoga Tab 3 Pro comes with an aluminum design and provides a great feeling in the hand. The speakers are built into the aluminum body and everything looks pleasing to the human eye. You're not getting a glossy plastic or some other cheap material. The rear is produced with faux leather that hasn't tore apart at all, but as time goes on, I'm predicting the leather will start to rip and tear. You have a small projector at the bottom of the tablet that allows you to project the entire screen on any white surface and I find this pretty cool because you don't see this on everyday tablets except in the movies, but that's just the magic of editing. Now you can put this tablet in multiple viewing positions. There's movie watching mode, taking notes mode, and standard mode. In movie watching mode, you can prop the tablet up to where the screen and the speakers are facing you in a position that would normally require a separate case to achieve. In taking notes mode, the screen is facing towards you but in a position where you're ready to type on screen. In standard mode, you can use the tablet in portrait or landscape and read articles, browse the web, etc. I enjoy having these options as I don't always have a tablet stand to prop up my tablet and sometimes I want to put it in a position that I prefer. Lastly, let's talk about the battery life and audio. With battery, I was able to get around a day's usage with one single charge. Lastly, let's talk about battery life and audio. I was able to get a full day's usage with a single charge. I normally take this tablet off the charger at 6.20 a.m. before I leave and put it back on the charger before I go to bed at 11 p.m. In this time, even with watching YouTube videos and playing games, I was able to achieve 5-6 to six hours of screen on time with heavy use and 14-15 to 15 hours with less frequent use during my day. I believe that this is due to the 10,200 mAh battery, which is probably included for the large 10.1 inch Quad HD display, which looks beautiful beautiful and use of the projection feature. In regards to audio, I was surprised. The 4 JBL front facing speakers with Dolby Atmos provide a very loud and crisp sound. The lows, mids and highs don't distort and make the user's experience elegant. Watching YouTube videos and Netflix, not Netflix and chill, but just plain Netflix, I felt like I was in a movie theater. The accuracy of the sound is on par with my expectations and if you're getting this for video watching on long flights or car trips, you won't be disappointed. The only flaw I found was with the speakers is that when it's at maximum volume, it tends to get too loud and the switch for the volume is hard to find in some modes which just pisses me off a little. In conclusion, the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro is an outstanding tablet in my opinion. This is a tablet for people who want a little bit more features and they want a lot more in a tablet rather than just some random iPad that they'll just pick up for like six or seven hundred bucks and not use it half the time. This actually has a lot of good features that would be accurate and be useful in a lot of people's lives. So this link will be down in the description below where you can buy it and purchase it if you do want to buy it from Lenovo or Best Buy. I'll leave a couple links down in the description below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see me do more reviews from Lenovo, I have a couple of them in the works. 
So please make sure to thumbs up for that if you want to see another review like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.